Let's look at that root mean squared velocity and the relationship with temperature. If I plot the root mean squared velocity on the y-axis, which plot on the x-axis would give me a linear relationship? The temperature squared, the temperature, or the square root of the temperature? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for all the answers. A, the root mean square velocity is proportional to root t, so the square root would give a linear plot. B, the root mean square velocity increases linearly with the temperature. Or C, the root mean squared velocity is proportional to root t, so a plot versus root t is linear. Think about those three explanations and make a selection. We're talking about the relationship between the root mean squared velocity and the temperature. Now we know the root mean squared velocity is proportional to square root t over the molar mass. So to get a linear relationship, if we plot VRMS on the y-axis, on the x-axis we have to plot square root t. VRMS is directly proportional to the square root of temperature. The correct answer here is C, the square root of temperature.